Hello, happy Monday, y'all. Uh, today I'm gonna share with you seven ways to find more affordable homes. Home affordability is one of the biggest issues right now with high interest rate, but if you follow these seven rules, you should be able to save some money and hopefully find more affordable home in this high interest rate environment. The first one is look for homes with a lower property taxes. For example, uh, Portland, Oregon, different pockets of the neighborhoods have different property taxes. So you can actually search by the property tax limit. So like for example, if I'm finding a $500,000 home in Portland, Oregon, I will set the property tax under about 6,000 a year, maybe 5,000 a year, and you're going to find some lower property tax properties listings. Number two, avoid homes with the HOA. Now this one, if you're looking for brand new homes, you're not gonna avoid this, but if you, you, you can actually search homes without HOA. The other way to do it is homes search with HOA less than $50 a month. Then you can actually find lower HOA or homes without HOA. Number three, look for the listings that are on the market for 30 plus days and go ahead and negotiate the price and get some seller credit towards your closing costs or any kind of rate buy down and that can save you a lot of money. Number four, look for space that you can convert into living space or bathrooms. And this is where you can look for like garages or maybe unfinished basement. Number five, Shop around the rates, uh, especially if you look at the local community banks, you may be able to find better rates. And if you're working for like healthcare or government uh, worker, you might be able to uh, have them waive the loan fee. Uh, one of my last buyers, she saved about $800 because On Point Credit Union waive the loan fee for the legacy health employees. Now, number six, check your employment benefits. Oh, well, that's what I just mentioned. Number seven, so it should be really six ways. Sorry about that. Eh. Well, five is shop around the rate, and six is check for your employment benefits. So they're two different things, so I'm fine. There are actually seven, seven ways. Number seven, look for cosmetic fixers that you can fix after moving in. These are the things that you can do. Like if the paint is old, you should be able to buy that because it will look kind of not as attractive. But painting inside isn't that hard. It just takes maybe two, three days for amateurs. And so, or, you know, like a, like damaged carpet and things like that, you should be able to look be, beyond what it appears to be. But unfortunately, many home buyers, it's, it's harder for them to see beyond that, but you need, to, you need to see beyond that. And maybe your realtors can help you with that. That's it. So those are the seven. Look for homes with the lower property taxes, avoid homes with no HOA, look for 30 plus days on the market and negotiate the price and get seller credit for closing cost. Look for space that you can convert into living space, garage or unfinished basement. Shop around the rates, shop around the rates. Uh, look at the local community uh, credit unions or banks and have them compete. And check for, check for employment benefits that you can save some money on. And then look for cosmetic fixers that you can fix after moving in. And one, one last tip is that learn how to improve your credit score because when you get better credit score, you're going to get better interest rate. So hope that helps. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and have a great Monday. I'll see you next time.